Leandra Feliz, mother of Junior Guzman Feliz, appeared strong going into court, but after watching footage like this social media video showing the murder of Junior from above the bodega on East 183rd Street in the Belmont section, she was visibly distraught, consoled by court personnel. The poor thing is hysterical crying, looked like she was going to pass out, and I just hope to God that she'll be okay. The trial comes almost one year after 15-year-old Junior was chased down by a group of alleged members of the Trinitarios gang. Junior tried to hide in the bodega, but was dragged out and attacked with knives and a machete, thought to be a member of the rival Sunset Gang. Defense attorneys for five of the 14 suspects facing murder and manslaughter charges argued in opening statements that Junior only died from a knife put in his neck and that the defendants didn't kill. They only made it look like they hurt him to avoid punishment from the gang's leader. It's like, it's and there's people calling us from all like over. anger all and sadness. The first witness told prosecutors and defense attorneys she watched from her apartment as Junior was stabbed several times, including by defendant Jose Muniz, accused of using a machete. That same witness says after the attack, she ran out to help Junior. Junior ran from one block to the hospital and collapsed where the police came. The witness says Junior's last words were him asking for water. I have never cried so hard in my life. Missing from the courtroom today, Junior's brother and father, whose supporters say lashed out at the defendants in court yesterday because they laughed at Junior's family. I believe that they all should get 25 to life without the possibility of ever coming out into life. People like them don't belong in our society. If convicted, all five suspects face life in prison. The trial resumes Thursday. Outside Bronx Criminal Court, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.